Hey, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be using these sculpting gels to make another type of 3D flower. In my previous video, I did this really cute pink flower. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing a slightly different flower that's gonna be a little bit different from this five petal rose or five petal flower. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're interested more about this product, if you wanna see all of the colors, make sure you check out the previous video for you to see a, a more of a in-depth review of each color and the product. So let's go ahead and get started. I have my practice finger ready to go. The nail tip that I am using is a little bit shorter compared to this other one that I had. These are in the extra long size, so we have a little bit more room. This one is a long leg, and I'm using the Apre Maisie Color Neutrals Collection Full Cover Tips, which is just a gorgeous color. So in this video, the type of flower I'm going to use is going to be a flower that is on the side of the nail, not just a little five petal flower. So let's go ahead and get started. The color I'm going to use, um, I'm just going to use the white color, which I believe is this one here. These are a little hard to take out at first. I believe this is the white one. Nope, that's the black. This one is the white one then. I think I'm gonna switch the lids because the black one should have the black color on it, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use my, oh, I put the wrong one away. I'm gonna use my white gel for this and I will link this in my description box of the video and it'll be from my Amazon storefront. So if you're interested in purchasing, go ahead and follow that link. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So again, I have my white gel. I have my cuticle pusher that I'm going to use as a little scooper. I have my powder that I just lay the little beads on. I'm going to use this little tool that actually comes with the kit. I'm going to use my builder gel and I'm going to use some golden rhinestones. I thought it would look nice with this design. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to do a five petal flower on the side of the nail. So what I'm also about to open this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this gel and I'm going to create my beads. I'm just going to make sure my hands are not dirty. I don't have any glitter, any fuzz on them. Let me go ahead and sanitize my hands. I have my little hand sanitizer here. And I'm just going to make sure my fingers are nice and clean. All right, so I'm going to scoop two larger size beads out. Not too big. But they're going to be bigger than the center petals. Okay, let's see. This one might be a little bit bigger. Let's take some off of this one. I'm putting it back in. Okay, maybe that's gonna be good. Let's go ahead and roll them. These are, they're okay. They're pretty similar. Okay, so I'm just gonna place them on here. And then I'm gonna scoop out three smaller little beads. Put that in. Just 
slightly smaller. And I think the hardest part of doing this method is that you have to really just make them the same size, which it's, it's a little difficult, but really like, I feel like when you're using acrylic, it might be a little bit harder because you're wasting more product too. Compared to this, you can just put it back in the little jar. So just keep that in mind. I'm really just trying to eyeball it the best that I can. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so we have our three small beads and then we have two slightly larger beads. I'm gonna put this away. Make sure it's closed all the way. I don't think anything would happen to it if you don't seal it all the way, as long as it's not in like direct sunlight, but you just wanna be safe. Okay, so now I have my little beads. Let's put this to the side. Now I'm going to take my rhinestones and I'm gonna do, um, I feel more comfortable, I'm like, instead of doing it like this, I'm gonna do it like this. So I'm gonna put my rhinestones on the side here. Let's open this up. And I'm going to take my little, this thing here. I'm gonna take my builder gel. Usually use my nail glue, but I don't know where I put it. So let's just use this for now just for video purposes. And I'm gonna turn to the side here and I'm gonna do like a little glob. And the center of the nail, maybe a little bit more down. And I'm going to take some rhinestones. So I'm gonna grab kind of a little larger one here. And then I'm gonna go down um, let's go down this to this side over here, and they're gonna be on each side. So you don't want to just do one rhinestone in the center. You want to elongate this as much as you can. And I'm just gonna, I was gonna clean it off, but I think it's gonna be covered. So if you are okay with your placement, which I am, let's go ahead and Put it in the light i'm gonna just bring it down just a tiny bit here i might bring this down a little bit just to have enough room for the two petals on the top and i'm going to move my little beads out of the way and i'm going to cure this just do a little flash cure Just make sure that my little tip doesn't fall out since these nails are a lot shorter but I wanted to save some time and not have to paint the nail or anything so I really love these these nail tips okay so I did a little flash cure we're done with our rhinestones I'm just gonna set this down and now we have our little beads again so I'm going to start with the top beads. So again, we're just going to, let me round it out a little bit more. Just like that. Let's round it out more. Okay, now that we have it for nice and round, I'm going to stick it on here. And we're going to see this is going to be hard because the nail tip is really small. I'm just going to press it down. I might just remove it off the finger because it's going to be way, it's not going to fit the, the pedal now that I'm looking at it. So we're just going to press it down. I'm going to do the little flower petal shape. Just as so, and then I'm gonna take this and kind of bring it up and point it out a bit. And 
you can see there's a little bit more product on this side than that side but I feel like that makes it look kind of cute like it adds to it and again just pointing it just as so okay so that looks pretty good to me I'm gonna put my little beads away and we're going to lash cure this I wish I had it on my finger, my practice finger, but we'll just have to put it back on afterwards. You can see it's fitting flat on the actual nail tip. These flowers are so beautiful, especially when you do two next to each other on the two middle fingers. It looks really nice. And then when you um, when you do these flowers, you can do different types. You can do like poinsettias. You can do like just really get really crafty with them. All right, I'm gonna flip the nail and bring out the other petal. And then we're gonna put this here. And then we're gonna bring it down. So again, we're gonna push it up and kind of point off to make it look like a little, like a little leaf in a way. Just a different type of petal. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. I'm just gonna flatten it out just a bit. Now I'm going to flash cure it and remove my other petals. And of course, when you have it on the actual nail, it's going to look a little bit different. This nail is a little short, so I maybe should have done some smaller beads than even this one. But, you know, we're just doing trial and error. Okay. And they cure it pretty fast, actually. So now I'm gonna flip it, and I really wish <laughs> I could have had it on the finger. Maybe I can put it on the finger now. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna do these smaller little beads. I'm gonna start with, uh, let's do this one. And then place it here. And we're going to push it in as so and angle it a bit. Oops, I pushed it a little bit in too much, too hard. thrilled about it I'm just gonna remove it take it off the tip I'm just gonna grab another one and this is where it really comes in handy to cure in between so you don't have to worry about it messing up the other beads Slightly less pressure. Okay. 
Okay, that looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and it's a little bit it's a little wonky looking, <laughs> but it's okay. Let's go ahead and flash cure this. really just takes a few seconds for it to cure and when it the white color I've noticed a bit that it, it does change a little bit to like an off-white type of color when you're curing it so it's not like a pure white which kind of sucks okay let's get this guy I'm gonna do the other side of the bead, or other side of the flower, with this other bead. Let's see if I can do it. I'm just kind of holding the tip down, the tip of the nail. It's a little sticky. up there and really this is the same method as acrylic and it's better because you don't have to worry about the beads drying too fast you can really just put it you know fix it if it's not how you like it so yeah I really prefer this and you can kind of see the color difference a bit um do I like it yeah it's fine flash cure I really love this compared to acrylic. So much easier, less less stress, less like you can just breathe while you're doing it. You're not in a super rush. And I'm gonna do this one in the middle. And we're gonna do this middle bead. And just take it slow, take your time with it. And you can really shape it how you like. There's like a little fuzz right here. Probably can't even see it, but I'm gonna know that it's there, so it's gonna bother me. to me I'm just gonna leave it like that and let's go ahead and flash cure it and it's super easy to do this really cute flower I'm flash curing it let me just put it back in the finger and then you just hear that it's almost dry how I do this 3d flower it is very pretty so I really like using this it's very beautiful the only thing is the white I'm kind of like concerned because it changes a little bit to like an off-white. Let me let me see if you can see a difference. Yeah, there's a slight difference. It's 
but it's still really beautiful. It's still white, but it's not as a bright white like this. But that's okay. And hopefully you enjoyed this video and enjoyed how to see me do this flower. And I'm gonna be trying out different little methods of doing flowers in the next video. So just make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.